Today we are making a roasted butternut squash salad with some quinoa and arugula and pecans and dry cranberries. It's so delicious and it has a secret ingredient in the dressing that you will absolutely love. So let's get right into it. The first thing that we have to do before anything else is preheat the oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit and put our baking sheet in it at the same time so it's preheated and becomes nonstick. This is a little trick for you. After that, we're going to get started by peeling a two pound butternut squash. It's a very small butternut squash, more than enough. And I love using a serrated vegetable peeler for this because it makes the job much, much easier. So peel your butternut squash all over, then cut off both ends, then cut it in half lengthwise and use a spoon to remove all the seeds and discard them. From there, we can start cutting it into slices and then into dice. Add the dice to a shallow bowl drizzle it with just a tiny bit of avocado oil and then season with salt and pepper to taste and then work the oil and seasoning into this butternut squash with your hands. And by the time you've finished dicing your butternut squash, I'm sure your baking sheet is super hot. So take some oven gloves, take it out of the oven and place your diced butternut squash on top of that very hot baking sheet and you'll hear it sizzle right away. Now put this back into the oven for 40 minutes and give it a quick stir somewhere in between at the 20 or 30 minute mark. In the meantime, we're going to cook some quinoa for the salad. I love using my instant pot for this. I add one cup of quinoa, one cup of water, a little bit of sea salt, and then I close it, seal it, and set it to one minute on high pressure and wait for full pressure release. If you don't have an instant pot, make sure to check out my guide on how to cook quinoa on the stove. Now, while the quinoa is cooking and the butternut squash is roasting, we have enough time to prepare the dressing. I love this dressing so much because it has sage. Sage is the secret ingredient that makes the salad so, so special. So don't skip it. Take three sage leaves, roll them up a little bit, and then cut them into very, very fine slices and then add them to a sealable container, a jar or a Tupperware or anything really. Then add a quarter cup of extra virgin olive oil, one tablespoon of balsamic vinegar, the juice of one clementine, and sea salt and pepper to taste. Then seal your jar and shake, 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 shake until it's well combined. Now, once your quinoa and your banana squash are finished cooking and roasting, just let them cool down a little bit so they don't make your salad leaves all soggy. And once they are just warm, but not hot anymore, it's time to assemble the salad. So get five ounces of arugula and place them into a large salad bowl. Then add your cooked quinoa, your roasted butternut squash, a third of a cup of chopped pecans and a quarter cup dried cranberries. Now pour your delicious sage vinaigrette over everything. Give it a good stir and enjoy. I hope you're going to give this roasted butternut squash salad a try, maybe for Thanksgiving to share with lots of friends and family. I can't wait to hear your feedback. If you make it, please don't forget to snap a picture and show me. I love seeing when you make any of my recipes and I'll see you with my next video. Bye.